Here's one I made earlier. Basically this one is ready. This has gone for about the 12 to 14 days you're looking for. And effectively when you see it like this, you've got your undercarriage there. Essentially what is a new SCOBY growing on the top there. That's pretty much cloudy texture, different from the original T texture. That's what you're looking for. Basically, you can see, and this is very, very common, this is a really nice example of that because it's done longer. Look at this sediment, a lot of brown, so on and so forth. Often you'll see bits that look, uh, the best way I can describe it, it's like snot, brown, gooey snot. People worry about that. It's perfectly normal. It happens as the process goes on. Don't worry about that. Right, when it's ready, and you can find out whether it's ready by giving it a little test. You can just pour a tiny bit into a glass, have a little drink. What you're looking for is somewhere along the spectrum where at one end it would be still quite sweet, but it wouldn't taste like tea, but still quite sweet and tangy. The longer you brew it for, the more vinegary it will taste. Anywhere along that, 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 that sort of spectrum is fine. It's personal preference. Some people like to brew it really strong, other people find it more difficult to drink that way and will go closer to this end of the spectrum, but it's all good. Once you've sort of found the way you like to, to brew it, the way you like it to taste, you'll know how long that will take, and you can sort of write that down, go from there. When you've decided it's ready to bottle, very simple. Make sure your hands are clean, washed, get all the soap off them, take off your hat, and simply pour it in as you would into your bottles and then you'll have leave the SCOBY obviously and a little bit of the juice. Now the best thing to do is get a favoured bowl that becomes your SCOBY bowl. This one's mine and has been for years and effectively all that you do is you pour, take the SCOBY out of the bowl, uh, out of your jar sorry, put it into your bowl with a little bit of juice so that you've got some more juice to add to the next brew and then simply boil the kettle put your new sugar and new tea into your empty jar as before wait for it to cool and then add your scoby and the juice that you've kept back into the jar and off you go again and you just keep doing it that way and that is the batch method of making kombucha all done and ready for you to go out and do yourself enjoy